Hi everybody, Wendy from Cinnamon Sweet Shop. Today I will be making some lemon snowball cookies. Not a lot of ingredients, and it happens to be vegan, well, at least my version is. What you'll need for this, I am using some Smart Balance, it's vegan butter. I usually use Earth Balance, but I just happen to have this on hand. I don't use it because I'm vegan, I use it because it's a healthier choice than using butter. Whole wheat pastry flour, always use that. It's not whole wheat flour, it's whole wheat pastry flour, keep that in mind. I am using grated lemon zest. It's lemon peel, for those that don't know, it's the yellow part and you just use a um, zester. For this recipe, it doesn't take a lot of sugar in the recipe itself, so I am going to be using some real confectioner sugar. Mine's organic because I make it myself. Some salt. Now for the cookie coating, again, some confectioner sugar, not a lot, so I would rather use the real than the, the alternatives. And then here I have some lemon powder. Basically, it's just lemon juice and they dry it up into a powder form. There's no sugar added to this. You can buy this on Amazon. I do have it linked below. That's if you can't find it locally. For this recipe, I am using my hand mixer. To be honest with you, I'm in a hurry to get this done because I do have somewhere I have to go. So I didn't feel like getting this then having to clean it afterwards. But in the bowl, it's my butter or my vegan butter in this case. Salt. Just going to beat this together till it's creamy. And also make sure that the anything you use, whether you're going to use real butter or even the smart balance, that it's at room temperature. You want it nice and soft. Mix in the lemon peel. And then your sugar. And then blend again. Hand mix in the flour. Just mix this in until it's completely blended. I have a cookie sheet with a silicone lining. You want to make sure your pan is either lined with silicone or it's sprayed so that it's non-stick. I'm also using a teaspoon. Because I want to make teaspoon size ball. Now, if you have one of those small little cookie scoops, you could use that instead. Mine broke, and I never had a chance to replace it yet. It's just not a top priority of things to buy. But I'm going to make little balls. Of course, you want to make sure your hands are clean as well. Nice balls are rolled out. They're about an inch apart on the tray. We're going to bake these for 12 to 15 minutes at 350 degrees. They'll be a little bit brown on the top. When the cookies are done, they should be lightly brown on the bottom. Feel a bit set on top. Now, I do want to let these sit for a couple of minutes to cool. While these are cooling, I did mix together, you could even sift it, the lemon powder and the confectioner's sugar. I'm going to wait till they're cool enough to touch. Just roll them along in the powder. The recipe is at my website, cinnamonsweetshop.com. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel for much more coming up.